doing okay? I got a big man hug. I'm good. Aw. I also got some insight that I think you guys need to hear. Okay. She travels through the building regularly. Rosa? Yeah. Oh. People upstairs have experienced her. Mm -hmm. the, the guy the guy lady was telling us of something about something that happened to her. Sorry, guys. And um, I was like, she was like, oh, yeah, she goes through the whole building. I was like, oh, no. So I just wanted to give fair warning. Yeah. And then she said, have fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rebecca and I were talking about her a bit, and Rebecca channeled her a bit. And uh, I mean, yeah. should I move the shield that I put up over there? I feel. Remember when I did that? Yeah. I um. I got a pep talk. So I'm feeling. I'm feeling okay now. Good. I also drew a picture of of a child that I oh. visualized. Oh. I can't draw for sh for crap, but I did my best. <laughs> What do you look like? Basics. Some I think your life wants to see you again. <laughs> no, they are don't look at me. I'm oh, fine. Oh, okay. no, I'm fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm fine. I needed a minute. <laughs> There's um, this is like I told stories about why I don't do this anymore, and this isn't. It's not that this is like bad, okay, mm -hmm. and not scared. I just was not. I came in blind. Was not prepared for the empathic feelings that were gonna come through, and I needed to like go out there and just be like just throw it up and then get back on the ground and then come back in. I feel a lot better now. Mm -hmm. Good. I also feel like I want to find somebody. Because I'm really like, yeah, we need to talk after this. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to bed after this. <laughs> I have not slept since 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> I, um... Thank you, Hectic Para. Mm -hmm. I heard something in there like audibly mm -hmm. and I feel like I don't mind just sit not I don't know if I can get the oomph to go into the back because when I tried to go back there it was like you don't want to do that but I do kind of want to just sit in there for a minute in the hallway area mm -hmm. and just gather and figure it out um unless you don't think I should then I will not I am not a, I am not a danger noodle <laughs> How much has she affected you personally? It's not her. It's not her? No. It's just the memory? It, it's just the flashes. And I, I thought maybe I shouldn't go into detail about what those were. Okay. Do you aim to gain more flashes or what's your purpose in this besides yes. just going? To maybe comprehend a little better. I have had... S okay, we're not talking about how to do that right now. <laughs> um, because I heard something, I feel like it might be useful for me to listen more and mm -hmm. see if there's anything audibly that happens. But the flashes just are kind of like tied into her. So it helps me understand the situation better because that needs some kind of dealings because that's a lot. Um, but also it was kind of like a partially a request from little ones that were like popping over to me and talking. Okay. I mean, unless like you, you it's if you're gonna go, it's hard to articulate what it is that I'm trying to do because I'm not quite sure why I feel like I have to do it, but I feel like I have to do it. Keep in mind your ability as a medium, you don't need to be in there physically in order to Oh, I'm aware. Family. But it, it right now it helps me to be as close as possible. So maybe I could just stand by it, but not just go all the way in. Mm -hmm. I you know I don't project as well without assistance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could call him if you want me to. <laughs> I, I want maybe you I should. What's good for you? You know what? Maybe I should try that instead. All right, I'm gonna sit quietly over here and try to figure something out, and then I'll get back to you in a second. Hmm. And he's here. <laughs> that did not take time at all. Okay. If you guys want to talk amongst yourselves while I figure this out, that's totally fine. Wait, did you call Arnold in here? No. Oh no, he's I, outside. Is it safe to say? Yeah. Huh? Like, I guess. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's your call, but. Well, he he came up and he was like, "Are you fine?" And he he like was like, "You're all right. You got this. You're mm -hmm. good. Do you need me?" I was like, "No, you stay outside. It's fine. I'm figuring it out." No, my other friend is coming to visit. Right. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Um, a guide. Okay. He's, he's a helpful guide that's been helping me with my mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Um, he's very good at projecting my 
projecting out and then bring bouncing it back like echo location. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to see if he will do that for me instead. Okay. So I don't have to physically move someplace. I'm very used to just moving places because investigations moving around and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. He I'm wants learning. to go, doesn't he? He really does. He want wants to go. Yes. Go. yes, he does. Yeah. Um, he's like, you can do it. <laughs> Are you both gonna project? Yeah, he doesn't want me to. He wants me to just go. Yeah. He wants me to be a big kid and go deal with it. I mean, the reason why I brought it up was simply for conversations that we had recently but i know he's oh you too. Mm, yeah supportive. no he but wants me to physically otherwise. go my guy would like me to physically go in there All right. and brave it and just do as best as i can and i'm like fair okay okay um yeah all right big girl i can do this do you want an extra bubble <sighs> Can you stand nearby? Yeah. Just be over here. That'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Definitely make a shift and here we go. <laughs> Alright, guys. Mm. Oh no. Get out of my face. Yep. You did did you hear that? Uh, did you hear the out loud thing? All I heard was Did anybody else hear anything? I heard like a like yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I thought it sounded like it. Oh, yeah. That's Rosa. <sighs> Ma'am, why? <laughs> Just... I got it. I'm still getting... Do you, do you hear what she's saying? Yes. What? What? Because I, I, what, I know what I'm hearing. I said earlier, what do you hear? <sighs> well, and I walked away at first. I was like, I do. And I was like, oh, all right. Mm. I swear to God, if you pop out, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Not to go far. Oh my lord. It's she's loud. Mm -hmm. I can hear I can hear her speaking currently in that room. Concerning. What's she saying? She's not saying anything, but it got very calm for a second. Mm -hmm. No. Jeep girl, I'm not sure. I think they have. I think they use ground penetrating radar years ago. Yeah, Kira. This here. is the worst human being. I yeah, yeah. Kira, I think I've ever life. encountered in my life. And I've met some pretty bad human beings in their life. And afterlife. If you want to see a different perspective, go to Cat's Live. Because all of these are going to be put together on YouTube later, so you get all the perspectives. The breathing. Mm -hmm. It's like it's tingling. Okay. Were you pushed or did you fall? It's just from here to here. Felt it. And I lost my footing. My shield dropped. That was purposeful. Comment section. Yeah. I got distracted. Mr. Jason was very nice. Just two things. 
She's waiting, and she's like egging me to come closer, but that's not the person she wants to come in here. She wants her to come in here. <laughs> Alex is not coming in. But that is not the only thing that is scoping in this in this area currently. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could. I shouldn't. I shouldn't speak for you, but like. <laughs> she she probably wants me to come in. Don't yes. She? Yeah, I know she does. She probably wants all the lights off, too. It's going away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk about Rosa. I know she's not. It's nice. like... We have, a, we have a bear for you over here. Yeah. You want to see the bear? The bear? Like, Go check out the bear. This. Very, like... Is that what I was talking about? Low. Yes. But, like... Yes. Slithery. Like yes. But a person, but, like... You want to go, like, go touch the bear? Little, That's little yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like right now he's gonna come home with me, but you can play with him while we're here. It's like right up in here yep. somewhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like curled up to the wall like this, yep. waiting to come out. Yep. But it wants the lights off. Mm. And the sensations and the emotions of just this and screaming and yes. like. That's, that's literally what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> she wants us to go in there. For what? She, she feels a... Strongest? No. She's, she has definitely taken a big step back. Mm-hmm. For now. Because I have company. Oh, There's no children in here currently. Oh, nah, we got we got one out. There. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> no, we got, Sorry. We got if you are children in this area, go this way. Go, yeah. Go. Hang out with Miss Alex and Mr. Jason. They're super cool. They're they're very friendly. No. Um, to me? Jeep girl, this is like the main room, room but then sleep. there's like the back room, which no. I can turn around and show y'all. Keep them And that's here. where Kat and Rebecca are right now. So it's like two big rooms. Ooh. Okay. Damn. Yeah, they're over. Friends giving me a little insight. So show my fingers. Oh. I fell in the Whoa. Right. Yeah, that's weird. That's cool. That's great. Oh, man. I almost feel like none of that song. That That's me. I scared myself. Oh, it was the lantern that was Rebecca. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure they would love to watch me do this. Well, they can see you from afar. Like, can they hear me? Um, probably They'll not. They'll probably just have to stay there because you know where it is. Um, it's, I, I meant, like... Oh, it'll be interesting when we get in the recording. I'm going to pull up my dress and tie it around my waist. Okay. Put it super okay, so... Let's see, oh where's the corner? Yeah. Okay. That's the corner that's being talked about, by the way. Hi there. And you're all getting a different perspective. And when we join these together, it'll be very interesting. Yeah. Okay. If you want, you can come sit, sit in our laps. That's so funny you said that because my leg mm -hmm. kind of felt like it was doing this. Yeah. You know how you bounce kids yeah. on your leg? Yeah. That's what it felt like. Yeah. So if you guys, so we're going to be playing with ghost children here. So if you want to get the more spooky stuff, you know, go to Rebecca the Ghost Guide or Cats Live Spooktastics. Um, I'm just gonna do something. Okay. Um, supernatural Ghost Hunter. Yes, we're at the orphanage in Gettysburg. Um. Yeah. So, you sit on my lap, you can sit in Mr. Jason's lap. And when I was traveling here to come visit you, a song came into my mind. And I'm gonna sing it to you right now. And if you want, you can sing along. All right, here we go. <coughs> this little, my 
spirit box oh just God. moved. I literally just watched <gasps> that. My spirit box is moving. It's moving. Phone is dying. Do not say you okay. are dying. Here my we go. I'm gonna sing. My spirit box like tilted. Moved. Tilted. Just did it again. But still going. No. I literally thought I was losing my mind the first time it moved. And no, it... it's totally went from sideways to laying flat. Huh. Yay. <laughs> this is why we do this, Jason. Right. This is why we do this. And we have nothing on it, as There's always. No... Yeah, so <laughs> let me show you how my spirit box is set up right now. Like, just chilling out right there. But it was literally like going side to side. Kira said they like my voice. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this is why she does the singing and not me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone, just in case you haven't met him yet, this is Jason. He's on my team. Hi. He's on TikTok as well. <laughs> it's fine. If y'all want to redirect Rose's attention onto you, it's all good. Right, because all the action's out here. <laughs> Yeah, we got the that was that was trippy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh, I thought I just saw the cord move too. Are you guys looking at my at my box in my little headband? You can put it on if you want. You can put it on. That that tingling is on my. Finger. Oh God. Somebody There's so hand. much. Just this wall talks about everything that's, so that's nice. happened in this area. She's quiet. You want? You She's can come sit, sit back mm -hmm. Suddenly, the scariest thing in the mm -hmm. room. Robert really just walked in. Yeah. He's yeah. had enough. Yeah. 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 What did you say? Yeah. Who walked in? Rupert. So I nice. thought so because he asked me. <laughs> and I said, she wanted to call you the more sweet her. Or when she needs to go. Oh, well, that would mean that he's not here. Yeah. With this? Well, that would mean Arnold would probably fall him in then. Good. Arnold's out there. That's this is a useless symbol to be here. Center, yes, we're at the orphanage in Gettysburg. So, what's happening over here? Oh, wow. I don't think people really know how bad and it actually was. when I was traveling here to come visit you, a song oh, came in Oh, somebody's in there with her. And... <sighs> I don't know. I can't more. register who because I'm kind of in the one. bubble out right now, but there's somebody right. else in that room now. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, I can't use that name because you know who. Oh, I know. <gasps> oh no no no! My spirit box. I'm dying. <laughs> Your phone is dying. Do not say you are dying. <laughs> my phone is on ten percent, and I forgot my charger in the car. It's a warning. Wait, he's only giving a warning. If we get closer, what would happen? Mm, did you hear that from? Yes, I did. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> He was like, that's not your business. Okay, sir. I will mind my business. No. <laughs> no, you don't scare me. She's speaking with you, so. No. There's that. It's that's not a problem. No. It feeds. Yeah. That's a, that's a carry-on. Yeah. The bird, comparatively. Mm -hmm. I need my, I'm gonna need my charger for it. My uh, phone's gonna die before the actual end. What time is it? Um, it's 3.04. And we have nothing on. Yeah, I probably have to get my cord because I didn't grab it when I left. I want to show you how my spirit box is set up. I feel so different. I feel like... Chilling out right there. Say. But it was literally like going I feel better now. But like... Kira said they like my voice. I hope so. The energy is so good. The residual is bad. It's like so stone tape about. theory. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. can I give you guys the example of like something that I've... In, like when I first walked in here, what I was experiencing. 
I saw these small little people, little little kids, just desperately climb this wall, screaming, "No, stop! I'm scared!" And just. And that's the energy. So that's the residual energy that heads smashing into the walls, kids dragged on the floor by their feet into the back. And that's what hit me the first time. <sighs> nice. I felt a tendril on my ankle. Like, just like this. And I was like, how dare you touch me? Yeah, that was How dare it touch you? Don't you dare touch me. Slither right back. Oh, thank you, I guess. In my little head I'm brown. Oh, wow. I don't know if it feels completely devoid now. Like, it's like all of it's just gone. Actually, the only way we can know for sure. Alex! What's up? Come here. Huh? I need okay. you to come here and, and feel. Hold, please. Jason, come talk to my You have experience. You know what it feels like in here, and I need you to come in here. And tell us what you feel. You don't have to come all the way as far as we are because we're crazy. I'll move myself over. Hmm. I hate that I have to crouch like this. I does not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Still feel a little bit of a tightness around here, but not as bad as before. Yeah. What'd you all do? We didn't do anything. <laughs> Called a friend. Called a friend. Give a friend. Which friend? Uh, friend I'll, of Rebecca's. I'll tell you privately. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, it I was mean, heavy, and then it just. A a a a friend who. Good friends. Yeah. Doesn't friendly friends put up with abuse. Mm. We have friends. We definitely have friends. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I'll tell you, it, Rupert did walk in. That was, he didn't do that though. No. We called somebody Arnold else. popped in too, because he was like, this is a lot. Mm. And he followed me for It's also fun. There's a lot of, there's a heat on the back of my. <laughs> I felt, give me your arm. I'm a shame. I felt this around my ankle twice. Oh. And I was like, don't you dare touch me. And mm. then it slinked back. But yeah, she's, she's around still, but she's not going to come out while your buddies are here. No, but she wants you. Yeah. Well, I'm coming also, back. It's I an need, ego trip. I need a charger because my phone's at 10% suddenly. So, <laughs> so I need I need an iPhone charger. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, I know she wants me bad. I'm coming back June 11th. <laughs> Every time that thing goes off, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. So my spirit box uh, moved side by side oh, by side by itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, while we were, we got, we got a couple kiddos over there. <laughs> and that's great. They they seem to be doing better over there. So my spirit box moves side to side by itself. Five we were, wow. Yeah. We were Jason um, and I were like <gasps> We've got an hour left, right? Yeah. Wow. I need I feel like so much has happened in an hour alone. I need to get my cord for my car. Okay. Which I'm cool to do, just go up and out because it's chilled out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um I can go do that real quick. I'll take them with me. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask them what they think because they've yes, never sure. seen me do that before. Okay. And uh I'm gonna I'm gonna conceptually write this all down for you. Yeah. To what happened in there, like what I was seeing and feeling and then okay. yeah. Cool. Heavy at first, but when it, whoever came in as a backup, really lifted things up. That's what he does. Oh, that's one place we would like to go to someday. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for me to walk oh, out yeah, to the car again going to going go to get. Do you need anything? Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm going in December. Yeah, I'm good. I've. I think I have enough battery for the next hour. I will um, be right back then. I'm just gonna get my charger, and then uh, do we wanna? Do we wanna just go upstairs and see what's going on? Good. I mean, or we can kick her ass tomorrow, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You guys let me know and I'll just go get my stuff and I'll be right back. Okay. I plug? Yeah. All right. So I'm actually in the process of writing a uh, fiction novel about 
using or using some of my personal experiences into this book. Um, it's called The House on Dead Man's Curve, and it's coming out in October. So find me, follow me, and watch for details. And now my plug is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put the blanket back on. Maybe. The scariest thing about this is me putting on a blanket poncho. Nice. Oh, you got a ghost cat? Oh, ghost cat. There's a ghost cat at the Farnsworth house. He's a very cute kitty. Huzzah! <laughs> the other two Why can't I tell you? Because the they may not want tassics. everybody to know what they do. <laughs> the reality is sometimes we don't always know who does things for yeah, us and so why you, they do um, things for us, but type in the brave should be grateful guide to ghost hunting that they do things. Book by Alex Matsuo. Yeah. I think I mentioned before, if anybody's just Karen tuning Wilson in, in uh, Jimothy's not with us. Okay. The heaviness is kind of lifted a little bit. So, hi. That's not something I usually do. If you're new here, hi. That is not my usual bag. That is not, that is not how I conduct things usually. But new things have happened in my life that I have to uh, account for. So please uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear your perspective of watching that happen. How much of it you heard, how much of it you felt, please tell me while I am walking to the car to get the charger so my phone doesn't die before this is over. I, I'm actually not 100%, so I can't really answer that question. Yeah, my guide came in and was like, no, <laughs> we're not doing this. I actually do have waters and I will grab a sippy sippy while I am in the car. I will show you guys the pic. I will post a video about it. <clears throat> Please understand though, the way I was moving. Didn't know I could move like that, did you guys? <laughs> Here's the, th oh shoot, I dropped my stuff. Here's the thing I'm gonna mention. Like, she may be a human spirit by the technicality, but she is barely was a human when she was alive. So what is happening down there now is you have her and then you have something else that's negative that's down there feeding off of all the other stuff. Um, I was really in the zone. I felt good. I felt controlled. I did not feel nervous. I did not feel like I was being manipulated in any way. I just felt like I had perfect control of the situation when I walked in there. I think in a way they might be. She's not very talkative, but she made a lot of noises. I don't think you guys could hear what I was hearing, but I was audibly hearing her making noises. She was like audibly making noises. Yeah, probably. Most likely, my friends. I hope this is gonna be the stupidest thing to say. Um, I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs> I know that's so silly, but I hope you're proud of me tonight. Thank you guys. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Here we go. Had a human encounter that creeped me out. Oh no, that's even worse than a ghost encounter. That's I know. 
It was a dude that just randomly was been sitting in the parking lot and then just got out of his going car. going to go through the orphanage? The I was like, it. Uh-oh. Most of the action all happens down yeah. here. What did you say? I was, there's a guy sitting in the parking lot where oh, cars are, and he walked out of his car as soon as I came out. Yo, and once again, the living are the creepiest among us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Go back in. Sure. Right. Are you doing a... Okay. Doing an Estes? Doing what? Estes? Or? Oh, yeah, I can do another one. Oh, I just didn't, I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I can, I'm I can. also happy to... I can, it. or we can just do Spirit Box and just... Oh, there's that sound again. Um, and it's because you notice when somebody's walking up there. So I'm wondering if the sound has to do with when somebody walks up there, it, like, triggers something. Because right. remember the last time uh, you two went outside. Mm-hmm. I have heard footsteps periodically. Yeah. I sure. assume that's reverb because old buildings yeah. tend to Probably echo. Probably from the residents upstairs. It, sure. That could have been what the noise was I heard earlier, but with me standing in that room, you can compare how so loud it is. So we did do is. Estes earlier. That'll be on YouTube Thank you guys. for folks to watch. My life is very proud of me. This might be a little hard without an external speaker. No, it's as loud as it gets. I need to do Estes. I mean, I I would also be happy to listen and try to do it. I've never used that box before, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Do you guys want to watch your favorite thing during my live streams and watch me do Estes? Because I am the queen of hearing static in my ears. Um, yeah, I have a clean line. And of course, if you want a closer look, you can go to Spook Dude For everyone who's gifted during this live and shared the live and commented and been a part of this conversation, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. This is like the biggest live that we've done in a long time, and I'm so happy that you guys are here. All right, right. schnoo blindfold. Looks it's very silky. It's very silky. Um, okay, let me make sure. Actually, noise you know what's really on? interesting that I have that I've had in there the whole time that I was in that room. Oh, yes. nice! A the hidden recorder. recorder in your bosom. <laughs> That's your how we get the things. No, so I'm gonna move this back real quick. Okay. So that they can like just see me do this. Hey. Okay. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice. It's my husband. Nice. It actually is a charger. It's magnetic. Oh, that's cool. And it changes and colors. Right. I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to start sweeping it. All right. There we go. Just so, and right now, I'm just going to test. Let me know if you need the volume lower, higher, the sweep faster, slower. Okay. So this is just baseline right now. So to me right now, it still feels gunky down here, well, but it also feels a lot lighter than it did before. Like mm-hmm. I'm not on. It's cooler. Yeah, it's cooler. Yep, that's why I'm wearing this. Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, I don't feel as on guard. Okay. Hi there. Now we have a new friend that is listening to your voices. So what she's doing is she's removing all of her. Their senses. Someone said my name. It's fully okay, fun. someone said Kat's name. The rack. The rack. The rack. <laughs> Anger. Oh, no. Anger. Apologize. Apologize. Who should apologize? Pause. Hold on. So. This is what I do in my lives because I totally didn't think about it. If it sounds to me like it's a masculine voice, I will put up my right hand. If okay. it sounds like a feminine voice, I will put up my left hand. Oh, that's I use that differentiation online so people know what I'm saying, and I just realized I should probably do that here as well. I'm kind of stealing that idea, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's totally kind of fine. Steal it, copyright it. I'll see That's genius. Um, I mean, Kat's kind of fabulous. The yeah, first, true that, the true first that. few were um, my name said my name. I heard cat and it was fem- female sounding and then mm-hmm. the rest were masculine. Mm-hmm. So okay. just for reference. Cool. All right. Back back into the zone. Okay. Oh, zone. Anyway. Okay. B I T C H. Oh. Oh. You That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh you. I know who exactly who was talking when that happens. Uh, 
That's Ready? B I T C H. That's not a nice word. It won't work. What won't work? Can you tell me more about that? Go. It's right. Mail or pen? Mail. Mail. Are you saying like maybe we should give leave? up? Mm. Others. Did Did you see that? I saw that cat almost lost the spirit box. Do you like having visitors here? How could you help? You are lost. It's different. Let me explain the answer. Thumbs like third. Man, if I had another set of headphones on me, I totally would have two people under at the same time and see if mm -hmm. there's. Do they coincide? Mm hmm. That's something. I, I hear you. When we. We can try it at the cabin, and when we come back here, we can try it too. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Ted. Ted would probably be good for that. Where are all the children? Are all the kiddos around? I'm not happy with it. Sometimes I'm not happy when there's lots of kids around, too. It's so. your gambit. She's getting very specific. She's getting very specific. I was about to ask about the sweep. Did the, did the speed change? When I think I might have slowed it down. What are you doing here? And those are true noise canceling headphones too. Like I can hear shit when we're talking. Get off of me. I heard that. I heard that yeah, I heard thing. No lie, ma'am. I'm sorry, I just stopped for a second. I felt her right up on my face, like in the zone. She just was like right on me. And I'm like, what? What do you want? She wasn't saying anything. She was just staring, just right in my face. Um, and I was like, that's why I just like bubbled out to yeah. try to like pat. I was about to say push. Yeah, yeah I did. And then and she has gone. And then I need to take a second to reset her. Cause I was like, you distracted me. Damn it. <laughs> um, do you want me to continue? Do you want to take a second or you keep going? No, you keep going. I was like, how many different voices were you hearing? So this is this S box is not the same one that I have. Yeah. So it's different. Um for me, I don't know how you heard when you were heard it earlier, but it's like there is it sounds like they're just constantly talking, but there are points where it comes out stronger mm -hmm. and that's the word I go for. Yeah. Um Sometimes. You can slow down the sweep or speed it up if you need to. Um, My phone has got twenty percent. So. so we'll sweep right. I got it. All right. Oh, her. Your someone cut out. Rebecca's cut out. Because my phone was like, oh, oh I got twenty percent. I'm gonna go a little Rebecca's bit slower. Dying. Her I'm phone's uh, dying. So. I hope I, I hope I said something useful. I don't know. You're saying some interesting things. Cool, cool, cool. I'm good at this. You're so also making me realize I should have two of you down at the same time. A long time. Like, oop, hey, dowsing rods. All right, guys, I'm going to go back under for a little bit, and then uh, 
I slowed it down to see if that what the difference is going to be, just for interest. I only I usually stay right about in the middle, so. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> go away. You're right here, why? Why do they want us to go away? You're welcome in. The woman's saying you're welcome in. The men is saying go away. <laughs> do you notice that? I'm noticing that, yeah. I feel like any men who are here. Cat, are you okay? <laughs> oh gosh. I'm a woman. Cat, again. Fully formed. Hmm. Not something I want to see. <laughs> I mean, Rosa, if you really want to make me piss my pants. They tried to stop me. They couldn't do it. Oh. Um. Who? I'd like to know who you're talking about. Who tried to stop you? Yeah. She is over there. Oh, we know. We thank you. Thank you, we are aware of that. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. So we tell you we can hear you and then you back off. Who tried to stop you? Oh no, I died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it happened. It do happen though. <laughs> I mean, to everybody eventually, but for you. Let's touch my back. All right, I can't do that anymore now. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Sorry, a little, I got too zoned in uh, and I was like, there's a lot of noises going on in the background. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Not good. I cannot, I do not, uh, in my brain, I was like, oh, we're done. Mm -hmm. We're not doing this anymore. Fine. I did not know how to use this thing. Okay. Mine, I have the big one, so that's what I'm used to. The, oh no, I died. So indifferent sounding when I heard it. <laughs> Literally, it was like, oh no, I died. Weird. I was like, what does that mean? Were you able to make any differences between the voices talking? I could have told you, like, uh, I could have given you a roundabout, like, an age based off of the tonality of the voice. Okay. There were some, vo the, the men, the male voices sound, uh, most of them sounded very, like, deep. Mm -hmm. Some of them were more, like, in that, like, baritone register, mm -hmm. but there was quite a few that were, like, this. And then for the, for there was a, like, kind of like a... Um, oh, how are you? Kind of thing, and then there was a lighter feminine voice, and then there was like a like somebody who's like a heavy smoker for thirty years of their life. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And uh, then there was a male voice that sounded male, but it wasn't male because it registered in my brain as more pitched. Mm -hmm. So I was confused. And there, if you saw it, points where I was like, I wasn't sure what to mark it because it sounded very in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, then there was like, there was, um, pings and pulls mm -hmm. in that direction mm -hmm. and, uh, they were talking over it and I could like, it was two separate things. I was hearing it, but also visualizing other things at the same time. And I did hear some children, mm -hmm. but they were very quiet. And that whole sentence came in a broken, like under everything else. It was a full sentence outside of the, 
talking, there was that sentence that went da 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 da. So hmm. yeah. Interesting. Yes. It was a lot. Yeah. I'm used to the SB11. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm used to the way that sounds. I'm usually like keep it on an FM station, do the both at the same time, backwards, forwards. So I'm not used to it being so busy, except for in certain places. <laughs> yeah. She found that out in Wilmington. By the way, anytime you want to visit, it, yeah. it's loud. It's, it's. If you said it was the loudest place you'd ever been. It was the most, in the middle of the street, Alex. Mm-hmm. I would be like, no tragic anything. <laughs> it's just in your conversation. Talk, talk, talk to each other, talking to us. Yeah, heard my name several times. We've mm-hmm. done the I just stopped mentioning times. it. Oh, come just, to town. Yeah, come to town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard my name mentioned a couple of times. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure one of the boys popped in to check in because they they asked like I heard, "Are you okay?" Like a couple of times. So. Yeah, that definitely wasn't her. <laughs> 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 I think that was a test of like, oh, can I do it? <laughs> nice. But yeah, it's, um, I accidentally put my head too far back. Oh, oh. And I hit the rock a little bit. Ouch. You okay? No, I'm fine. That's what I heard after. Oh. It's, yeah. It didn't, it was not, it was not nice. And then I had to like visually like. Oh, was it because, like, was it a, like a reading kind of thing? I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it. Like I leaned back and I was like, I hit my head like very, like right here, just by like a little bit, just right. a little tap. And I was yeah. like, Ooh, oops. Yeah. It'd be like, I'll do it again. Oh, and I was like, oh. go ahead. Remember the story we heard? Of yeah. Her? Like then I got this like <laughs> sensation and I was like, bruh, no. Mm, no. To know because I was in it when you in the Estes zone, you're like kind of in a different place sometimes, mm-hmm. so you're focusing in on that. And I can kind of like shut down for a second to focus on that, but I couldn't. I kept still hearing over top of it on the mm. same wavelengths. It was kind of wild, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. See, that's what I want to do, but not with the spare box because it was driving me up the wall. Um, <laughs> but if I uh, my you noise. could probably get a similar thing with white noise or pink noise, yeah. Uh, I always thought that those were good for like EVPs for them to like use that easier. Yeah, Make, I, creating a static environment of noise. That at least compared to play, it gives them a. Oh, yeah, yeah. This place. Same thing with running water. It does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She well, got real bold again. Yeah. Rosa. <laughs> she didn't do anything though. No, she's just trying to get a little bold again, and I, I... That's how it works. Yeah. That's how a warning works. You know this. I know this. hmm I just find it funny. Because you bet someone else it was warning. <laughs> um, I... This place is bad. This, yes. I've been to a lot of places. I, I've been to a lot of places that were emotionally, like difficult to deal with places mm-hmm. that had a lot of tragedy this hit so left field for me i was not why not too because of the kids the kids you, got me you mentioned... they were like ovaries <laughs> yeah the ovaries. no they like they kind of like escaped yeah. and they well, were excited they, about they, it they came over here and hung out with us and then they were playing with my spirit box for a little there bit there was no nobody in there not like when we first walked in, they, mm-hmm. there was a there was like a handful of them in that room, and they were like upset. Mm-hmm. But then when we started standing up, and we were like, then they were like, ah, "Look at that!" Yeah, Alex made a comment that it was almost like you guys were keeping her occupied so that they could come out. Mm-hmm. My question, like the one thing that I really just need to know is why? Why does like? Why? Why does she feel so like this necessity to continue that? Like, I know why, but like, I would like to hear her say why. While you were gone, um, because you asked something similar, mm-hmm. and she just said, "Because they're mine." Then I was okay. Yeah. Then I was on the right track with my thought process. Yep. Hi, everybody. Yeah. I'm in a giant thing. <laughs> Is it warm? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm warm now. It got cold again after she was less 
you know. Mm-hmm. Or I should do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, but that warmth is kind of slowly building back up. Mm. Mm. Well. But it didn't start until we yeah. started doing that. I mean, she knows when the attention's on her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm getting the sense she wants me to go back there, too. I wonder how many times people have tried to remove her from this place. Because I feel, since I said that, though several, a lot, hundreds, maybe Never thousands, worked. Yeah, because they have no rule. What? There, there are no rules in the contract of don't remove our ghosts. Yeah. So the amount of times I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm certain of it. Thing is, though, she's rooted to the thing. Yeah. She's rooted to the space. Yeah. Yep. So you don't remove her without breaking up what roots her. So that that's the thing. People so often look at the individual problem. It's not the individual. It's oftentimes what holds them there. Yeah. Then plus her story is being told over and over and over and over and over again. It's just... It just keeps fueling the fire. It's just feeding and just getting stronger. And even if you were to, like, vacate her from the premises, what's to not call her right back to it when people start talking about how scary she was? Yep. Oh, shut up. (laughs) What'd she say? She just left. Yeah. I don't want to just be. I want to Zach Baggins right now. But I'm also like, if you're gonna be stupid, I, you better I, be smart. I learned the, the the hard way not to be a Zach Baggins back there. So did Zach Baggins come here? No, he went to the, he went to the Jenny Wade house. So he oh, I don't think he went to the orphanage. Not wow, I know. It says a lot, Zach. Too scary. Oh, he he cut up at the Jenny Wade house to the point where Ghost Hunters almost got banned from the Jenny Wade house. He should. He got into, you know, the, the cot with the mannequin in the, in the basement. He actually got Oh, don't, there. don't. I remember TikTok friendly. We can't mention what happened, but yeah. I remember you telling me about that. Um, yeah, I got that, like. Clearly, thing. he was looking for content. <laughs> yeah. He should have just been a TikToker. He'd be good at it. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> um, um yeah, so we got about twenty five ish minutes. Is there left. is there anything else like since we're nearing the end, we've kind of collected I mean I got I got evidence of my own for you. I can send you the audio clips and stuff. Thank you guys for your gifts. I really appreciate it. it helps keep the lights on, not here, but <laughs> mm. um is there anything like that you want to like communicate to her to see what she says since we're kind of like at the end of the night anything that we can say out loud to you now that would be helpful or Hmm. just curiosity like well you mentioned when i when i arrived at this building there was a lot of utterings about me like Mm -hmm. they know me what were they saying (laughs) they were like so the first thing i like i heard children Mm -hmm. and they were excited but then i heard the other voice that was like, yeah. and then started talking mad, sh- mad trash about you. Of course. Was mad at you. And was like, it's been egging you to come back there. Like, and I felt like, in a way, it was like, oh, if I like get one of them back there, she's going to follow in. But hmm. you're not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Why she hates you so much, I'm not sure. But she like has a thing for you specifically. Like... We're inconsequential. Well, now we're not. But we were inconsequential because you were sitting in here. And she was like, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Alex. Come on. Come on. Because she kept trying to pull us over there. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not going to get me. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, but I'm going to leave. and. I wonder how the people upstairs deal with it after the investigators come in. I could never live in this building. How could you? Like, I'm back. I have 10% battery. You want to switch? I got a little left. I'm good now. Oh, sure, yeah. Do you have the new charger with the... The, the lightning? The lightning charger? Yeah. It's really yeah. fun when you have a ghost that has some beef with you. And it's like... I have enough to get through the rest of this. And it's like 11-year-old beef. Like, this... this. I first met Rosa in 2011. I, I was like 24 years old. 25. 25 years old. I was a... Uh, I actually I was a got battery in. banks, and then I left them at the hotel. I was a youngin' when I met Rosa. So this is an 11-year-old 
thing. <laughs> well, so. that's the thing. I think she, what I got before was she was proud because you had that kind of persona of you can't touch me, you know, like I'm not scared of you. Mm -hmm. You're you're like a, a trophy. Mm. I don't know how big of a trophy, but people like her would even appreciate a little trophy. <laughs> so, because I think about how often people read the story of this place, right? Mm -hmm. And they know her story, and they already come in afraid, and she loves that. But her favorite thing is people like you mm -hmm. who have seen a few things and don't get so frightened, and. The jump scare. Yeah. It's a, it, you know what, it's, I'd say it feeds her, it feeds the thing that she's rooted to. Mm. She wanted to hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. She had, she had plans to hurt somebody tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. She didn't get to. I didn't get close enough, and the other thing tried to slither around my ankle, and I was like, how dare you touch me? <laughs> I felt a kind of heat on the back of my calves once in there, and actually out here, too. Because um, it's all over the place. Yeah. Those poor kids. That was so hard. Like, I wasn't ready, and it hit me like a brick to the face. Mm -hmm. Shut Shut up. up. Hmm? Is your life paused? Uh, no. Okay. It was for a second because my battery went, but it's good now. Okay. Um, yeah, just... Oh, the images. Yeah. Oh, the sound. It's pretty terrible. Yeah. I just never wanted to hurt a, a ghost so bad in my yeah. life. And I've, you know, I've met some pretty yeah. awful ghosts. Yeah. And do you, do you get the impression that in her afterlife, like, she's just kind of evolved into this creature? Kind of, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like, yeah. yeah, I was going to say she's, it's like a corruption of mm. what she once was, but she's gotten such a bolster of power from people talking about her with such fear. And, you know, honestly, like, I wonder if you start being like, yeah, so there was this, uh, this, this nasty B-I-T-C-H, we don't talk about her. And then you don't even say her name ever again. Mm -hmm. hmm. Do you think she got mad? Ooh. I got the sensation. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation that she did not like that thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just start erasing her from the narrative. If they completely take her out as, like, the boogeyman of the story and make it more about the fact that somebody did do bad things but she doesn't exist as further from the record in conversation, would that help alleviate her control over the situation? Mm -hmm. Not that anybody's going to do that. No. But... To be like, oh yeah, there was this horrible wench of a woman who ran this place and hurt these children because she was a miserable person who deserved to get punched in the gut multiple times. And then all she's got is nothing. She's a nobody now. Hmm. That's a thought. When I glide into a York peppermint patty. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, you know, when people commit crimes, like just terrible crimes nowadays, and the news blows up their name that's part of the issue mm -hmm. like we shouldn't mm -hmm. we shouldn't be celebrating these people mm -mm. and of course you know the news would be like we're not celebrating them we're reporting about them it's like well yeah but you're making them a celebrity yeah you're putting their name into people's memories as somebody that did something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly you you i'm gonna just uh out loud you are a worthless waste of space in this place and you don't deserve any good things after this can I place some of your shielding? Of course. Okay. I wouldn't say that willy nilly with just my ass hanging out. What are you crazy? I know, but I'm also shielding right now. And I'm like, mm, 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 I'm out. It's mine's out there. It, it, it's past you. Yeah, no, I know. Okay. I, made, I made it to the door. Okay. <laughs> to keep the door sealed so okay. she can't. <laughs> she's, she's pissy, but she's not gonna. Somebody wants to go live with you. Yeah, this happens. I don't know who this is. <laughs> you might want to cancel was, it well, so it doesn't go through. Someone was trying here. to go live with me, too, and I'm like, I don't know you. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, hi, Bob. Like, I didn't invite you. <laughs> I think we've, um, we've established what's already known and experienced something that I don't think 
We, I know, I wasn't quite. WTF Raptor, I did leave an audio recorder back there, so. I'll walk back with you because I wanted to snap pictures. Okay. So I have to show somebody some pictures later. Yeah. And my Discord would love And somebody. WTF Raptor said, tell Rosa we say hi. So. Mm, let's not. Yeah. <laughs> let's not be nice to her. <laughs> Yeah, that's, like, usually, you guys know, on my on my side of things, when I go out, I introduce myself. I was like, hi, my name is XYZ, blah, yeah. blah. I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. No, not here. No. But somebody knew my name already, apparently. Well, we said it a few times, too. Hi. Yeah. They were listening. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I've had well-established position places that I've been around, and... They've said my name. And I'm like, it's her. And I'm like, yes, it is. She was never nice to us. That's what WTF Raptor said. She's not nice to us either. <laughs> I mean, we, we did see something where she barely straight bit somebody. Yeah. Um, a lot of the data or evidence that people show me from there, it's all about her and what she, usually it's physical assault or she manifests in pictures and she doesn't look human when she manifests in pictures. Mm -hmm. I am going to say in like the closing like thing, I just can't, uh, cannot wait to just wash this whole place off my body. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is a polar opposite of, like, Jenny Wade. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. It was really chill, considering, like, there were some things, but, like, nothing crazy. Yeah, like, it was, like, mild annoyance there. It's kind of like... It, it was like, oh, let's go. It's It goes from, like, oh, not again with this, yeah. to bonkers. Yeah. Straight bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know... Story. You know, we've got a couple minutes left, and we have to collect our things, and then Rebecca and I have to get back to our hotel so we can sleep, sleep. Um, what is the actual name of this place? It's the or Orphanage of Gettysburg Orphanage. There you go. This is Gettysburg Orphanage. Uh, yes, my Discord is open to anyone. You can go into the place in my bio <laughs> to find a link to do that. Be a part of the conversation, and uh, hang out with us. But guys, you know what, on that note, I really think that I'm going to close down this live for the night. I'm going to, you know, get our stuff together, get out of this place, because if you know what I mean, then good. I'm ready to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to sleep now? Are you ready to do the rest? Yeah, I'm, I'm you know what's what, like, he's sleepy, I don't even care. Oh, damn. <laughs> Rebecca's staying here, apparently. No, the, the contract states four. We have to leave it four. But seriously, I mean, that's... I'll, I'll, I'll say this, I think, for all of us. You, you do this enough. You gain enough experience. You ground yourself. You don't live in fear. And it's, it's what it is now. Um, like, even with the imagery that we were getting and having things projected at us and that sort of thing, it's just sort of like... Yep. Um, it's the same reason why when people are like, what's something scary that happened to you? I'm like, Ugh, something not recent. <laughs> it's uh, not scary. It was very, no, Justin. <laughs> um, it was not scary. It was very emotional. And um, I think some I of y'all are scared on my chat. I feel better, better for the experience mm -hmm. because now, no, now I understand I am now real. World, Did you summon again? Yeah. yeah. Real world practice. Yeah. So, yeah. on that note, our our right. our uh, guide field our, guide is coming to pick us up. Thanks for joining. Me too, uh, everybody. Guys, I love you very much. Thank appreciate you for joining. All, I really appreciate all the comments, Thanks the gifts. Hey, so no much much worries for me. Around. I appreciate all of your care and concern. I will yeah, be sure that nothing follows me back to the hotel. Have a great night, guys. Get some sleep. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful rest of your night, everybody. So thank you all for your watching and your gifts and all that good stuff. As always, thank you to my Patreons who actually funded this trip for me. And we'll see you again soon. Don't be in fear. Bye-bye.